Welcome to Heather Cooks. I'm going to show you how to make the best fucking fall risotto. I love to use mushrooms and butternut squash. Risotto is one of my favorite things to make. We start by heating up some vegetable broth. We're going to be adding vegetable broth and stirring as we go to cook the rice in the pan. But first, let's start with our beautiful fall vegetables. I've heated a skillet, and I'm going to add some butter. When the butter is melted, we're going to add our mushrooms and our butternut squash. And it's a great side for all kinds of things, um, seared scallops, chicken, lamb. So I'm going to start by cooking, adding some onions to the pan. Hear that sizzle. When the pan sizzles, you know it's hot enough. And we're going to add our butternut squash and our mushrooms. And these are going to need a minute to cook down in the butter because they take longer to cook than the rice will. So we'll just give that a second. Those are just going to take a little bit of time to cook. We can season them with salt and pepper now. Squash is going to absorb a lot of the pepper, so don't hesitate. Always remember to season as you go. So once these are cooked down and the pan's really hot, we're going to add about a cup of rice to it to coat it in the buttery oil. So I'm going to add a little bit of crushed garlic to this. I have a whole garlic clove here. I'm just going to crush it. and. I'm adding the garlic last because garlic burns really easily and you really can ruin a dish by burning your garlic. So now that those are getting where they need to be, I'm adding the garlic and I'm going to add my cup of rice to the pan. If you want to use short grain arborio rice, that has the consistency that will react to this technique of cooking and will release lots of starch and become very creamy. All of this rice is getting coated with the butter and oil that the onions and mushroom and butternut squash was cooking in. And now we're going to add about a half a cup of wine. And so now we begin the process of cooking the risotto. Okay, so the wine has been absorbed, so now we can add, begin adding the broth. And if the pan seems too hot, like the water is absorbing too quickly, we can turn down the heat. We don't want it to burn. And so we'll just keep doing this. We'll, we'll repeat this process for about 20 more minutes. You need to make sure you're stirring all around the pan, get every edge. You can't just have someone who comes up and goes like that to it because you don't want any part of the rice to burn on the bottom. Now, risotto is great. I'm showing you the basic recipe, but you can interchange this no matter what season it is. I love shrimp risotto. You can make corn risotto. You can make all kinds of risotto. And any, any vegetable you want to substitute in there, asparagus, squash, summer squash. There's so many options. So as you can see, the, the liquid is cooking out from the broth. So as soon as that happens, you need to add the next round of broth. And you just repeat this. And as you can see, it's a very hands-on dish. It's not a walk-away dish. So we're going to repeat this process for the next 20 minutes. And we'll come back, and you'll, you'll see how it looks then. Now we're in the home stretch of our delicious fall risotto. I've been stirring constantly, adding about a half cup of the simmering vegetable stock, and it's, it's been cooking the rice and turning it into this luscious, creamy, savory, delicious dinner. As you can see, you'll know it's almost done when it's firm to the bite. You're going to want to taste it. Firm to the bite, but cooked through. So just a little bit al dente, just like pasta. Now that the rice is finished cooking, we have some finely grated Parmesan that we're going to add to it. And I always recommend keeping a little bit extra on the side for serving. 
Because remember, this is an Italian dish, so the cheese is going to give it that delicious, savory, flavorful component at the end. I love this. Mmm, buttery, creamy, so good. I'm so excited for you to try this at home. Love it. And I'll, there we go. Enjoy.